hello youtubers welcome to my youtube channel this is the nigeria tech bro we have been looking at the installation of the wazo sim 2 deployment on kubernetes using eks on aws we are finally at the point where we deploy we have done a whole lot of things from setting up our aws account setting up the vpc the subnet the security group as well as setting up roles and permissions for the purpose of this project, we've created our EKS cluster, created our worker nodes. We even created an EC2 instance with AWS CLI configured to be able to manage this cluster using kubectl. Now we are here. Let us proceed to the WASO deployment. If you've missed anything leading up to this video, please check my channel and catch up with us. Now going into the video. Um, the last in our last video, we were able to do the um, deployment of nginx and um, that uh, works. So let's just look at the last command we ran in the last video. Uh, one of them was the kubectl get node. We were able to see the nodes running, and then the kubectl get or to see our deployment. So now um, we will proceed into the installation of the wazo on eks. So these are our instances running, just to show you. Um, now we'll go by we'll go with Wazos documentation line for line. That is part of why I did this video is to show you things that you are supposed to do to be able to follow the Wazos documentation. Without following every step in this video, you might experience challenges in this implementation. So now I will leave a link to this documentation in the video description. But if you already have the Wazod documentation, you just go to deployment of Kubernetes and the deployment section and copy this command git clone. On your EC2 instance, you might not have git and it doesn't use apt, it uses um, yum. So you do sudo yum install git while and then. Uh, to be able to perform the installation now once you've done that you paste the command from wazo uh, now once you've pasted the command from wazo the next command to run is cd wazo kubernetes to change the directory to wazo kubernetes so you do that and then once that is done you set up the ssl certificate using these commands just copy them pretty simple i have to give it to the um, wazo um tech community and um, tech support for creating a very straightforward documentation most of the implementations that documentation are just straightforward it's a great thing to also so you run the command and it generates the certificates You also copy the second one and it does that too. Now, because we are doing this on EKS, you need to know what storage classes are there by default. So if you watch here, our provisioner is Kubernetes AOI hyphen um, slash AWS EBS. So what that means is we'll have to go and edit this YAML file. Copy. Nano. Paste. So we'll change this provisioner to what we have there. But let me close this because I did not even... So we'll take this position now. Copy. Paste it there. Then we save.
then you run this code then you copy this command the one for the eks cluster you copy that command and then you come here you paste the command if you have any problem running this command we are going to resolve it though everything went well so if you follow this video line for line word for word you should be able to also achieve this seamlessly yeah so if you are at this point the next thing you do is you run the commands we use in getting nodes and then getting all deployments to see what we have okay first of all let's get our storage class you see that we now have the wasl storage class there so we did not have that before now let's look at all our deployments but to get this you have to because we created a namespace for wasl using this yaml file so you do hyphen n wasl because that's the namespace to get all now it is still um, trying to deploy some things like one of the index is running one is not running um you have some stateful sets some things are ready some are not ready uh but we can check out the dashboard to see if that is ready so copy this external ip you copy it you open it let's use the same tab we use for nginx you paste it here and let's see let's see if it's going to work let's see we're going to have a problem if we have a problem we fix it so let's give it some time to load the same way the nginx took, took time to load let's give it time to so uh, the page has loaded when you paste that um, url address the dns name remember to add https in the beginning and then you drop down advanced because it's a self-signed certificate so that's why you are seeing this potential risk ahead If you believe that the uh, WASL uh, documentation is um, pretty straightforward, um, I want you to leave, uh, if you believe it's pretty straightforward, I want you to drop a comment in the comment section. Just say straightforward. If it's not straightforward, just say not straightforward. And if you feel this video was helpful, also write in the comment section. Helpful, feel free to write other comments on things you think I need to know. Now, the... Um, default username and password is also in the documentation uh, let's look for that mm. okay so this is the so we are copying just the secret password that's the default username and password so you paste that password here and click login we don't need to save it because after this um, presentation, we'll be deleting every single resource we created, including the AWS account used for this purpose. Just um, security best practice. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm really glad that uh, for those of you who set out to get this project accomplished, setting up was on AWS, uh, you were able to achieve that with the help of this video. If you think you are having any issues, um, please feel free to go back in time in the series. Maybe my previous videos it might help you resolve that. So let's wait for um, the um, checkups to be performed. These are health checks that is normally being done by Wazo to ensure everything is working before it loads into the dashboard. So now now that is done um this is the wasl deployment on um eks cluster <laughs> uh, so um generally i've done other videos on how to add your agent um, i might still do more videos on how to add your agent on wasl uh but uh, this is where we are um this is the nigerian tech bro youtube channel uh, please at this point if you are still in this video please subscribe if you haven't liked please like if you want to comment please comment also thank you for being patient throughout the whole um, journey for this video um, i look forward to um, 
making more content subscribe click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything thank you